ACF we vale tete anga wali ah this is a global problem vali kano kali kuvela liye lili Israel and Palestine runo ne nyiremba vole abantu befwe nothing can be farther from the truth why we have high fuel prices in Kenya is directly related to the high taxes on our fuel na sisi tumewaambia wenzetu wa Kenya kwanza kwa mazungumzo yetu ya bombers if you don't deal with the cost of living there will be no deal wasiposhukisha bei ya mafuta washukishe bei ya stima sukari maisha yawe nafuu kwa mkenya sisi kama wanaazimio hatutakubali kuweka sahihi mkataba ambao hautashughulikia swala la gharama ya maisha na ndio sababu tukiwa nyumbani lazima pia tuelimishe kuna wale wanauliza kwa nini bwana Wamalwa amepinga sana haya mambo haya mimi sio mtu mjeuri mimi ni mtu mpole sana lakini ukiona Wamalwa amesema no kwa kitu basi kuna shida pale siku ya Jumatano tunarudi kule Bomas naomba mkiombea familia ya Kisondio mtuombe pia na haswa muombe wenzetu wa Kenya kwanza wawe na utu wasikie vile mkenya analia na waweze kuteremsha ushuru vile tunavyoongea hivi sasa mama suluhu rais wa Tanzania ameshukisha mafuta sisi tumeuliza waziri wa kawi bwana Chirchir kwa nini ninyi hamshukishi mafuta global oil prices are decreasing why isn't our pump price decreasing the way the global one ya anasema hatuwe hakuna kitu tunaweza fanya bwana Ruto mwenyewe anasema hakuna kitu tunaweza fanya leo tunataka tumwambie tukiwa hapa bwana Ruto if you have no plan wewe nenda kwa jirani mama suluhu akupe suluhu vile amefanya Tanzania watu wa Tanzania wanapumua kuliana watu wefwe sababu there is something mama suluhu amefanya kupata suluhu kwa watanzania wapumue na kama bwana Ruto hana hiyo suluhu azungumuze na mama mama ampe eh, plan aweze kutengeneza haya maneno sawa sawa lakini pia kuna swala la ufisadi Wana, wanasema palipo na moshi pana nini pana moto si ndio wewe ukiona mzee kama mseveni na mimi nimekuwa wakili wa mseveni miaka mingi sana huyo mzee mseveni is a, not just one of the elder statesmen in africa is also one of the wisest na yeye sio mtu wa kupayuka mseveni is a man of serious wisdom He does not make hasty decisions. Ukiona Museveni anakataa ukora ulio Kenya. Watu wanaitwa middlemen. Wanafanya deals. Bwana Ruto anatuambia it's a government to government deal. Sasa ukweli umeanza kuonekana ya kwamba there are merchants of Venice hapa Kenya. Kuna mabepari wa Venice, mabepari wa Kenya kwanza who how on your middleman Museveni amesema yo ukora mnafanya Kenya mimi sinunui mafuta yangu Kenya mimi nitaenda Tanzania so leo nataka niweleze ukweli wanasema ukweli ukidhihiri uongo hujitenga this is the problem with Kenya and why we are suffering so leo naomba ya kwamba mtuombe sisi tumeambia Zakayo hata wakati wa Yesu Yesu aliambia Zakayo shuka chini ya muti. Si Zakayo alishuka? Alia. Na huyu Zakayo wa Kenya sisi tutamwambia ashuke, anakataa kushuka jamani. <laughs> sisi tumemwambia na marafiki zake wako hapa waambie bwana Ruto, mambo ni mangapi? Matatu. Zakayo ashukishe bei ya mafuta ama Zakayo ashuke ama sisi tutakata umuti. Tuko pamoja? Kulia alama ndio wefwe. Na sasa ndio ulanga hapa ndio bora bali ah ati Ruto yeye is too powerful hatuwezi tukamshinda 2027 kama mwaka mmoja mumeumia vile mmeumia hivi muko tayari tuumie miaka ingine tisa na Ruto muko tayari tuendelee kuumia miaka ingine tisa 
Sisi tumekataa. Na mimi nimeambia ndugu yangu msali ya vihiga juzi, msali anaweta wanasema ati tu tumusupport tu paka 2032. Ati yeye hey, is unbeatable. Leo watu wa misanga. Tumekuwa na uchaguzi Liberia. Rais wa Liberia George Weah mwezi wa kumi, wameenda uchaguzi ikawa 50-50 na mpinzani wake Joseph Boakai. Hivi sasa navyongea matokeo Liberia imeonyesha ya kwamba upinzani umeshinda serikali. George Weah amesalimu amri amekubali after one term ya kwamba mpinzani sasa ndiye atakuwa rais. Hapa Kenya inawezekana haiwezekani? Mimi nimekuwa na yule alikuwa rais wa Nigeria. Good luck Johnson. Alikuwa rais Nigeria akashindwa na mpinzani anaitwa Buhari. He was a one term president. Sisi tunamwambia bwana Ruto usiposikia sauti ya wakenya. Wewe you are going to be a one term president atutavumilia miaka 9 na wewe tamri. Mnaoelewa hivi ndiko?